And I was talking about how these last three years, it's been hard to wrap my mind around why I'm supporting any of this. Well, what the White Sox have done is remarkable. It is a systematic removal of likability over the course I, of like four years said, well, that, it, ha- that has continued and today was a, a massive extra nail. Removal right? and or suppression and and degradation of likability. Purposeful degradation and destruction. Systematically so. It's really impressive. Yeah. The disconnect is the most impressive part of it to me. White Sox fans love Jason Benetti. Correct. The industry loves and reveres his work but like three people and mainly the top one one person one person but there's too many people that just follow the top person Agreed. because he treats if you if you have NFL and college basketball and college football obligations so you're not all in everything that top person seems to take issue with it. Part and, of it. And so then the people that are all in everything follow the leader, and they didn't appreciate what they had. And so they didn't respect it. That's so sad. That is so sad. It, it, it just robs your fans. Because Benetti is a better broadcaster than Dylan Cease is a pitcher. Benetti's a better broadcaster than Luis Robert is a center fielder, and Luis Robert's an awesome center fielder. I I was making the point that he's a better broadcaster than Chris Getz is a GM or player development guy. But but all of them, all of them, he's better at his job than anyone else that they employed is at their job. Except for the guy that sits next to him. Yeah, I mean, they're both great. But he's joining us today at two forty. Yeah, he's caught, but and, Steve Stone and Benetti will, will join us. But, but yes, your your point is made. And, 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 but it is just a wild disconnect between. It goes back to he who has the gold makes the rules. A hundred percent, because you know, because the, no one else's opinion matters. The business has evolved, but not everybody has to evolve with it. Because like. I was talking to somebody today, like, Kurt Gowdy wanted to do more football, so the Red Sox told him to go screw in 1966 and hired Ken Coleman, who was doing Browns and Indians, and they said, no football. And he said, okay. You know? It's like, this goes back forever. John Rooney was doing what? NCAA tournament games? Mm -hmm. And would sometimes miss some White Sox spring training and some games in April. Jerry Reinsdorf didn't like that. This is what they want. So... While Joe Davis is doing, what, 130 games for the Dodgers while he does everything else in his life? And that'll probably be what Benetti does for the Tigers. 127. Yeah. It, it, it's, in, it's in the Tigers press release. A minimum of 127. And the White Sox want somebody who who is theirs and theirs alone. Not and that's not that. how everybody it's, does it's, it. It's, it isn't just the number of games. That's a big part of it, though, Dan. It, no, no, it's, 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 not, it's not just that. It's, not, it's, 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 it's more it's, than that. It's, it's, it's the beholden. It's the feeling of no, being beholden. It's more Jared than that. Jared doesn't like his broadcasting. Right. Right. Not, Which is insane. Right. That it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's much more subjective. doesn't like the joking around or references he doesn't understand. Or it, he just he, he's he doesn't think he's funny, and he's wrong about that because he is objectively hilarious. But that's not what Jerry wants to broadcast him. Right. Well, in, it, it's it's crazy. In the end, it is crazy. In the end, it's like ultimately, I feel like it's sort of similar to Casper's move to the radio just because he wanted to. It's ultimately inspiring. Like, go chase happiness. Just because you're, like, actually working for the thing you always thought you wanted to work for Mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you're supposed to be happy. And if you're not happy, go find somebody and some place that wants to make you happy. That's really good for all of us to know. We we were talking about the whole concept of, like, the dream job. And then you get it, and you're like, this is – that's kind of how I felt with doing, like, the national show. And maybe it had been different if it had been a different time, but – Doing a national radio show was something that was always on my list until I was doing it. I was like, this is not, there's, there's nothing about this that is fun for me. 
Yeah, and, and, and it's like, and sometimes you got to find the place that's that's desperately in need of something like you. Detroit used to have a really good broadcast. Then their play-by-play guy and their color guy had a big fight. Oh, Mario and Pemba, right? It got really toxic. <laughs> they, they Mario got a, was doing, he was doing Peoria Chiefs when I was doing the uh, the Madison Muskies. They had a physical fight at press yeah. level five years ago, and yeah. they both got fired. And so for five years, it's been this guy, Matt Shepard, who does other things, and some Craig Monroe, some Kirk Gibson, some Cameron Mabin. They need to upgrade. So their fans and that whole organization are like, holy, we can get Benetti? Are you kidding me? So that's where you got to go. We can if hire you Craig wanna... Council? <laughs> yeah. And we can hire the, 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 the best, the, the market standard right now wants to come here. Away from a division rival? Yes. Yeah. It's a balance, though. Of course, I'm happy for Jason. You're happy for your friend. We were personal connections in this. I have no problem admitting my bias there, and that's the number one emotion. I'm happy for my friend. Period. Next paragraph. It is sad. It is a sad thing. Yep. You know what I mean? Like it is a, like, that he had to pursue this to be happy. Yeah, yeah it's sad it, that it, he it wanted is, to leave. It is sad. Hmm. 